I've been working with voice therapy and hence transgender for over 20 years and I started luckily in my first job when I had a voice caseload and then an introduction to transgender. I ended up in the NHS as a voice clinical lead with a regular transgender um, client group and now I work with a local self-help group running individual therapy and workshops. Uh, I keep my skills up to date with study days, talking to colleagues. It's obviously a smaller area. Our lovely SIG um, has folded due to pressures, but there's quite a lot of information gathered by the um, societies that are there. My clients come to me mostly self-referral. Um, I always have a long and quite intensive telephone discussion to find if they're the right client for me and I'm the right therapist. Predominantly male to female transgender in all age groups, younger nowadays, I think people can make the decision a little earlier, but well into their 60s sometimes. Uh, I do find that they approach me throughout the transition period, sometimes before they've even shared it with other family members, and sometimes after they've made a good transition, but really want to work on voice characteristics. Voice change is often what the clients want, um, thinking purely of the voice sound, not necessarily of communication skills, and also to pass as a woman to avoid that second glance is often um, said to me. Often thinking that a higher pitch will do it and uh, it's a misapprehension really that maybe they've worked on their voices to get a voice which is not very satisfying to them or to others when they hear it. In therapy what I want to do is really see what strengths the client brings to me already, share that with them, uh, areas that I feel are uh, feasible for change and to broaden from voice to communication skills and I would do this by introducing my understanding of voice and all the parameters of voice uh, to share those and to do client-centered practice in the best possible way recording as we go Recording itself, both film and audio, is very challenging. Many people need to be persuaded that it's valuable. It is. It's a wonderful resource if done at the beginning, comparisons throughout therapy. Uh, I break the voice components down into breath, breath support, uh, freeing the larynx, taking tension away, introducing a different, more female intonation pattern, uh, working on resonance, a key player, in voice work, um, pace of voice and speech which may be different in a female than a male, and the awareness of all those components which are ongoing and changing as therapy progresses. Throughout therapy I really want to work with the client and help us both together to find that client's authentic voice in their journey. So that's a voyage of discovery really and it may not be known at the beginning what sort of voice suits the client. The challenge to therapy is often as you know in therapy life events such as change of job, change of housing, family um, issues involving children and spouses. Um, change is the order of therapy and that is what we want and change is so challenging in therapy. If you were doing something, something else needs to happen. Uh, really, um, the clients come to me to say that change is occurring. It may not be what they thought would happen in the first place and it could be a surprise in terms of um, other people's feedback. So really that needs to be monitored quite carefully and um, tweaked as we go along. I feel I offer my genuine acceptance, the availability in therapy, and my belief most importantly is that this is an area that often gets overlooked, is not well funded in the NHS and really um, is so important for well-being in these clients. Thank you.